today's affirmation is the classic. Live, laugh, love, lie, deny, cry. And for good measure, be a raging slut. On this episode of The Commercial Break. No standards and practices. <laughs> no set dollar amount. Paying a guy named Frankie B hundreds of thousands of dollars. But don't worry, you won't get your name on the door. <laughs> You'll have no marketing, no foot traffic, <laughs> no money, and probably no home. <laughs> Isn't that the wealth you've always been dreaming of? The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. The dirty in the morning! Yeah, cats and kittens, welcome back to the commercial break. I'm Brian Green. This is my dear friend and co-host, the beautiful and amazing Kristen Joy Odley. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. And best to you out there in the podcast universe. I was just talking to Christina, our editor, and she told us, she told me that her nickname is Chrissy. That's oh. her nickname, right? And then her best friend's name is Brian. What? So, yes, which is just <laughs> fucking insane. So she says, sometimes when I'm with my family, I have to refer to you as Boss Brian. <laughs> Because everybody knows Brian as my Brian best friend, and we are the other Chrissy and Brian. Oh, that's too And I thought funny. that was so wild. Aww. It's amazing. The universe working it's, it's like an episode. Its way. Yes, it's like an episode of Love Is Blind, where they find the most inconsequential of identities and make it into a whole fucking serendipitous thing. Are you wearing shoes today? Do your little. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh no, no that's not it. <laughs> That works too. Uh, oh, you <laughs> want? Oh, too. I know what you want me to do. You want me to do? Mm, yes, yes. Amazing. <laughs> well, I was. It just reminded me of like on one of the Bl- Love, Love Is it. Blind episodes. <laughs> it's like, are you wearing shoes? <laughs> I am. What kind of shoes? Shoes that fit my feet? It's amazing. It's so serendipitous. Me too. <laughs> We're married. It's all going to work out great. I love you. <laughs> it's meant to be. Oh. That love is blind. That episode, that season four is wild. Wow. I'm resisting. You got to. Watching no, it. it's the best one yet. Uh, is it? It's but the I best thought... one yet, hands down. <laughs> of course, the one with Raj or whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah. You remember the guy who was like telling everybody they're fat and ugly? <laughs> yes. When he wasn't exactly no, wait, Tom yeah. Selleck himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that guy's name? Raj, right? Mm, Raj? I can't remember, but Reeve? that sounds Riz? good. Yeah. yeah. He had that girlfriend who was smoking hot. She, she was loved him. So I know. She and was he was so like, ah, I can't get my boner. She burned him in the. Everybody burned him. In everybody the, burned in the him. reunion. Of yeah. That one. He couldn't get a boner. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't yeah. feeling the sexual energy. And I thought, what a beautiful woman. Yeah. And yeah, she burned him. She totally trashed him mm-hmm. up at the altar and then at the reunion special, yeah. as she should have, because he was a total. Everybody fucking else douche. burned him too. They yeah. We're all like, yeah, he was a dick. And then season three, which you're in the middle of right now, right? No, I already finished. Oh, you finished three. it? Did you mm-hmm. watch the follow up? Epi- mm-hmm. The follow up? Where mm-hmm. the girl totally <laughs> gaslit that guy. Did you, did you see that? What yes. was his name? Uh, I can't remember. I know. They all run together. But he point, seems but... so nice and lovely. And then at the end, remember he was like the prim and proper boy who had roaches in his toilet? Yes. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was younger. He was a younger guy. So those mm-hmm. of you who never, haven't watched Love is Blind, there was a couple <laughs> on season three where it was a rather like handsome guy, right? Just a average white dude. And yeah. then it was this beautiful woman that he had chosen. Mm-hmm. They seemed to get along pretty swim- swimmingly, even though they had m- many differences in their life, as all of these couples do, because that's what happens when you don't see somebody. <laughs> um, and one of them was like, he had an apartment where he literally had roaches in his toilet. It was fucking disgusting. He explained that later. He said that he didn't have time to clean before. How do he you left. not have time? And he's, yeah, I know, you make the time. This he is what He was like in his me. early 20s, though. So, yeah, um, that's true. Uh, I mean, I didn't live like that in yeah, my early 20s. No, I lived but, under a porch. Yeah. <laughs> So Honestly, I had roaches, yeah. but it was part of the environment. Exactly. It was it was part of the it was part of the allure of the apartment. <laughs> the vibe. That's right. Hey, uh, <laughs> duck your head when you go down <laughs> under the <laughs> under the porch. Falling. <laughs> 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 so they, these two had a lot of differences, and one of them was she was kind of had her shit more together. And by the way, who doesn't have time when you know you're going to be on a television show? Where if you get picked, the first thing that they're going to do when they get back from the honeymoons is go to each other's apartments. Yeah, you at least quick call someone you, and say, on the oh way my to the God, airport. this is happening. Oh, yeah. 
You no, call please, Mr. Fucking someone, Clean. Please, yes. someone go over there. A friend, a relative, anyone that could let somebody in to clean. Yeah. It happened again this season. It's one of these oh, guys no. had a total disaster of an apartment. He literally had a bottle of lotion and some Kleenex <laughs> sitting out on his table in front of his TV. You know, that's probably why you and I get along so well. And also why uh, Jeff, I love Jeff so much, is you guys are both very tidy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like things, like things in clean. their place. You're not... OCD about it, but you like things clean. Yeah, there's certain things that I'm peculiar about, particular about, Mm -hmm. but for the most part, I just like things tidy because my (laughs) mind is such a mess. I want the things around me to be clean. I want the things around me to be clean. No, it's like when Jeff and I, we make the bed together usually, like in the morning, (laughs) because we both get up around the same time and get going. And so we make the bed, but he has to have it smooth. Oh, me too. Why why go through all the trouble of having a bed? I don't have to have it completely smooth. Yeah, no, completely smooth. (laughs) What is he? Is he a is he a military guy? Was he in the military? (laughs) His dad was. Oh, he was. I bet he I bet he bounced Mm. quarters off of that off those covers. That's what they would do. (laughs) They would make you have that cover that top sheet so tight that you could bounce a quarter off of it. Yeah, that's what my dad used to say. Can I bounce a quarter off of it? (laughs) A quarter of weed, Dad. Stop being a smart ass. No, seriously. That quarter of weed you took for me. Can I have it back? <laughs> can I get it back? Yeah. That's why my dad took an ounce of weed from me and I asked for it back. Uh, well, you don't, you, you don't get it if you don't ask. Yeah, and that's true. And I did not own. <laughs> you did not get it. I did not own the ounce of weed. Someone had given it to me to sell. Oh, and of God, course I wasn't so going to do that. Yeah, I owed somebody $400. Um, so it just amazes me. So anyway, so the, these two... Go back to the season three of Love is Blind. These two, kind of a little bit of an odd couple, but you could see that they really cared for each other, or at least that's what you thought. And the way that the show was edited, it didn't seem like there was much discourse between the two of them at all. There were a couple little arguments here and there. When they got to the reunion special, when they she got up on the altar, she completely trashed him. She said that he was mentally abusive and physically rough, and you were everyone was so shocked because he apologized profusely too for any kind of mental anguish he caused her he did but it didn't appear at least not on the show and i know there's probably hundreds of hours of footage that we didn't see Mm -hmm. but on the show they didn't show any of that yeah the producers put none of that on air maybe they did that on purpose i think so so that they it could seem a little shocking Mm -hmm. when you saw it Mm -hmm. but then she went on the reunion special and trashed him again yeah he cried the entire time he did he apologized he said i had no idea i was doing any of this like i had no idea you were feeling this way because none of us had any idea that he was feeling (laughs) she was feeling that way either it seemed to me that she just got on the got up to the altar and decided that she was going to trash this guy for whatever reason and uh it was it was shocking so season four is so much you're, better than you're season three. Pulling me in, you gotta you're go. Pulling me in, you gotta I'm, go. It's it's taking up so much space in my mind because we're in out the of middle town of it. next week. So I'll do it then. Oh yeah, you gotta get. <laughs> don't tell Jeff. <laughs> Jeff already hates me enough. <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> Can Jeff I be friends you. with Jeff, Jeff just a couple more you. minutes? He just does not uh, agree with our, with our TV choices. No, sometimes. <laughs> he doesn't like I mean, brother I can't, husband. I can't even turn it on DLC. That's yeah. Oh, it's a no-no? You, it's a no-go TLC in our <laughs> house? No go. Meanwhile, my son is like, Dad, can you turn on TLC? <laughs> sure, buddy. My daughter is literally asking for doctora, uh, the doctora. And what she means by that is my 600-pound life. She oh. wants to see Dr. Niles Arden. She likes him. She thinks he's fun. <laughs> she thinks Dr. Niles Arden oh, is just the best thing Brian. since sliced bread. She'll wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, and she'll be like, Daddy, doctora, turn on doctora. <laughs> I'm like, no. And Astrid hates it. She's like, do not let her watch that. <laughs> Why? Because it's such a grim show. Yes. Like, we don't want her, yeah. you know, taking anything away from the show that we may not, it may have unintended consequences. Right, that's what I'm I was like, just thinking. I'm like, fucking Paw Patrol could have unintended consequences. <laughs> I'm not wa- I'm not letting her watch some shoot up bank. It's not like I'm watching, letting her watch Goodfellas. I mean, it's the fucking <laughs> My 600 Pound Life. <laughs> but I do have to be careful because now my son, if someone is a little bit overweight, he'll start asking why their belly is so big. <laughs> he'll be oh, like, no. why is your belly so big? <laughs> no. I, know. I, just, I don't want to get into it, but he did no. it to a family member of mine. And I was oh. like, oh, Matthias. Mm. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's why is your kids. belly so big, well, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> that's just kids being kids, though, I, I think. Know. Kids say the damnedest they things. They do. Yeah. I won't even get into it. <laughs> They're what... brutally honest. They are. I had a friend who said something because she's a school teacher of like kindergartners. And I guess like <laughs> she wrote she wrote in a little text thread where one day she said, We want you know, one of my kids asked me, like, why is your hair white? Why do you have white at the top? Because <laughs> I guess it's time to color my hair again. <laughs> my kids are honest. But I mean, that's not even like the super uncomfortable no. questions like how was I built is one of those things you're uh the why? Stork. Yeah. Why how did you how did I get in mommy's belly? <laughs> the stork. Yeah. Why is your penis so big and mine so small? There's another one where you're like, ah, don't worry, you'll grow into yours. <laughs> don't worry about it. I think I heard him ask something about that one I day. know. He's so curious. He asks everything. I love the kid. I love him, but he's Mr. Curious. Mm-hmm. He wants to know everything. And you're right. He has no filter, but as no four-year-old does, but no. he has no filter. So he asks questions about observations that he makes. Yes. And those observations... You know, sometimes they're uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable adult <laughs> observations, but they're just curious kid you observations. Use your inside voice. Yeah, with you, his that's observations. right. <laughs> well, and I cuss like a sailor, so now he's cussing like a sailor, and I'm like, you gotta settle down. Why? Because some people get upset. Do you get upset? No, I don't give a shit. What I <laughs> that's what I told him last night. I go, I don't give a shit. It's other people that give a shit. <laughs> he's like, Daddy, what's give a shit? And I'm like, Ah, don't worry about it. Fuck it. Don't worry about it. Uh, you, need, you need to write a book on parenting, it sounds like. Yeah, words are just <laughs> words. That's all they are. They can't hurt anybody, at least, you know, depending on how you string them together, but they mostly can't hurt anybody. Yeah, why is your belly so big is not hurtful at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're 300 pounds. <laughs> Unless you're 300 pounds and all you think about is your weight 24 hours a day, and yeah. now you got kids pointing it out. So if he ever says, Daddy, why is your belly so big? I'm just going to be like, because of you. That's why. <laughs> I used to have a life where I ran and I uh, did things. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for another episode of, uh, you know, Tots on Disney Junior. <laughs> and Love is Blind. Oh, uh, Love is Blind. Well, I'm not going to let them watch that, that's for sure. Because uh, my 600-pound life, then eh, I don't see anything that could they could take away from that to be too damaging. But Love is Blind, I don't want my kids getting any wild ideas about how they should that's meet their true. partners. And I certainly don't want my kids on Love is Blind. <laughs> Not until they're 30. When they're 30, then they can do it. Hey, uh, you know, last episode, we got into a Frankie B video. We were following him on his 24-hour journey to health, wealth, and success. (laughs) Frankie is taking us through an entire day, and he's showing us exactly what he does to be the Frankie B that he is today. To be the best, A couple things we've learned so far on part one of the video. A couple things we've learned so far. Mm -hmm. Frankie eats like a three-year-old anorexic. And number two, Frankie lives in a college dorm room. Mm-hmm. Uh, and thing number three, Frankie wakes up super early. To and he does n- the worst alarm. Ever, which is the <laughs> default Apple alarm. We all know it's it. It's stressful It's one. the worst. Apple should be sued. Somebody should sue <laughs> Apple for that noise that drives us all crazy. And uh, number three, Frankie does not look good without makeup. So that's yeah. just one of those things, Frank. We He's all being have our, real. Yeah, we all He's have our cross to bear, and yours is your face. So there you go. <laughs> hey, you. Guess you. I hate to interrupt all the fun, but I just want to remind you that tcbpodcast.com is where you find all the audio and the video. Plus, you can contact us to get your free 21 EPM sticker. Just go to tcbpodcast.com, hit the contact us button, tell us you want a sticker, drop us your address, and off we go. Plus, you can write to us at 855-TCB-8383. That's 1-855-TCB-8383. For all of our international listeners, we'll pick up the toll. Go ahead and text us. If you have comments, Comments, questions, concerns, content ideas, we're taking them all at 855-TCB-8383. If you want to view the commercial break in a whole new light, go to youtube.com slash the commercial break to see the fully edited episodes. You'll love it or your money back, I promise. While you're at it, hit us up on Instagram at the commercial break and TCB live on TikTok. So let's take a minute to hear from our sponsors and then we'll be back to this episode of the commercial break. So I wanted to get into part two because, you know, I know that people, most people love Frankie B. 
That's yes. right. Frankie B and Marlon seem to be the two favorite people on the commercial break. <laughs> and the preachers. And the preachers. That's right. So I thought we'd get into part number two. Let, lest we leave people hanging, we're only halfway through the day. So now we got we to gotta find <laughs> out what continue. he's up to for the rest of the day. So here is Frank's daily routine. He just finished eating breakfast at one o'clock in the afternoon, and now he's getting ready to do what? He's in a suit. Yeah, he's de- good? decked out there. All right. So yeah. I was trolling on the internet. As you do. As I do like to do, and I found... A little video sharing with us Frankie V's 24-hour cycle. So as you can see, there's more to my routine than just working out in the gym. Yes, it starts every day with a great workout. Get home, take do my steroids, (laughs) sniff a little cocaine, (laughs) send dick pics to random people on Tinder, and then I'm ready to go. (laughs) Make up a batch of margaritas. <laughs> that's right. That's one of one of his pictures. That has him with like the margarita. Oh yeah, yeah. One of and those. a cigar. Yeah, that's right. Now look, he has makeup on. Now he looks mm-hmm. good. Yep. Yeah. I shower. Then what do I do? Skincare. Skincare is so important, especially if you're a guy my age in your sixties. Okay. If you think and that's why I have a makeup bag bigger than my ex wife's. <laughs> All of my ex wives put together. <laughs> That you don't need skincare. If you're a 40 year old watching this or a 50 year old and you're not doing skincare, you're doing your body, you're your fucked. face. You're <laughs> fucked. You're a loser. It's too late for you. Kill yourself. No, no, no. I, don't do that. I'm sorry. A big disservice. Skincare doesn't stop on your face, it goes throughout your whole body. Okay? You have skin you throughout your have... whole body? Skincare on your whole body? No, I'm, I'm surprised there's skin throughout your whole. <laughs> it's not skin anymore. It's like a rough tangerine. Its skin is like a tangerine. I put lotion all over. Do you? When I get out of the shower. Yeah? yeah. All over? Mm-hmm. All the parts? All the parts. All the parts. Chrissy's got silky smooth all the parts, in case anyone was wondering. Are we going to get reviews about this now? Can I feel all her parts? Settle down, you perverts. <laughs> to put the expensive creams and lotions on your body, but you do need to hydrate your body with lotions, okay? Every day out of the shower. It's gonna keep your skin fresh and not get scaly, and it's gonna prevent wrinkles. Let's face it, you can have the best body in the world because you work out every day, but if you look like living hell right here, this is coming from Frankie B, who literally takes barbed wire to his face. He does. He has scars from the barbed wire. Number one. <laughs> Number two, his neck looks like a piece of worn leather. It does. Red there leather. Is, yeah, there is no skin care going on around that neck. He Just pure sun. Where's it getting you? They work hand in hand. Good body, good skin. You don't want to be walking up to someone and from a distance they go, my God, look at the body on this guy. But as you're getting closer, they're going, oh my God, Ah! who's that? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sorry, Frankie, it's just you. (laughs) I thought you were a leather couch that (laughs) fell off the back of a pickup truck on the highway. (laughs) Nope, just you, Frankie. By the way, who's walking down the street going, look at the body on that guy? (laughs) Have you ever said that to yourself? No, no either have I. <laughs> but like, I haven't met Frankie B in person, so yeah, maybe my true. mind will be changed. Hell, let's talk about the next step, and that's eating right. Again, you could bust your chops in the gym, but if you're not eating right, you're never going to get the gains, and you're never, you're never going to feel good. You're gonna- maybe that's why I can't make any progress is because I'm going to the gym, but then I'm having Twinkies for dinner. <laughs> Always feel like you're missing something. You can't do one without the other. They work hand in hand. It's cohesiveness, okay? You work out, you eat good, you're gonna get results. So that- By the way, Frankie, can we put something on the walls here, bud? Like, I'm, we're looking at his apartment, a picture of his apartment, youtube.com slash the commercial break. Chrissy, there's nothing on the walls. There's a picture over by the door, and then there's nothing on the wall. Doesn't it just look like... It looks like a model apartment. It does, like a model apartment. Mm -hmm. And then he's got that horrible... I think it might be. I think you it think might so? be a model apartment. Remember the other one we saw too when he did the cooking yeah. demonstration and you, he opened the refrigerator and it was just bottled water? That was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was it. With the name it. of the apartment it complex was a, on it. A pristine <laughs> refrigerator. Wildwood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think he's shooting in a model apartment. It's possible. Mm -hmm. but And does he have like a, at first I thought that was a dog on his belt buckle, but I think it's like a. An H. An Hermes. Oh, it's Hermes? I think it might be fake Hermes. Oh. Does anybody wear Hermes anymore? <laughs> he does. In, in America? I mean, <laughs> I see it all the time over in Europe, but. It's the health part of my daily routine. And I don't stop at the breakfast, lunch that you just saw, okay? I carry that on through dinner and I try and limit my snacks and my snacks. I try and limit my snacks to pussy twice a day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I eat my own jizz. It's the only thing in the world with negative calories. <laughs> Guys, if you're not slapping your own jizz on your face, you're missing out. When someone's walking down the street and they go, oh my God, look at the jizz on that guy. <laughs> you want to make sure it's fresh right out of the oven. By the way, I've heard it's great for the skin. Yeah. Yeah. They're good snacks. They're, they're healthy. You put that all over. <laughs> I think a lot of guys have maybe said that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Can I put that all over? Yeah. It's good for your skin. I know. I think I, there's <laughs> somebody told me it had negative calories. <laughs> like it's the only thing you eat in the world that'll actually make you lose what? weight. And oh I'm my like, God. And this was a woman that was telling me this. So I was a little surprised. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, let me cook you up a batch. <laughs> Next day. Let's face it, there's no way we can't snack, but it's it's choosing, you know, the right and proper snacks. And, and do I cheat? Do I mess up? You know, do I go on a on a sugar binge and a card binge? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I'm trying to picture it. <laughs> I can see Frankie. <laughs> a Krispy Kreme. Let me get 200 dozen donuts. <laughs> He's just binge. over in the corner like cream dripping off his face like ah. Yes, I don't, think so. Don't tell my viewers. <laughs> they think I have a great body. I do that only maybe once in a while. And you know what? Oh, what was that? The, the he was about was to tell bad. us how often he did it. I think he probably went off on a tangent. Yeah, he probably. And then he was like, I can't tell people. He probably, was, he probably was like, I do it every <laughs> once a week. <laughs> and then he was like, I better not say that. Yeah. I don't want to tell anybody how, how often I go to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> The next morning, after I do that, you know, I can gain anywhere from three to five pounds, but it's mostly water. But you're getting bloated, and now you're carrying that bloat. So, you know, if, if you're, uh, I want to be lean. I'm, <laughs> I'm picturing Matias in this situation. <laughs> why do you have so much bloat? Why, yeah. yeah. Why, do you have, <laughs> why do you have so much water around your face? <laughs> That's the next thing. <laughs> Three to five pounds of bloat mm. in one night. Yeah, that does. Yeah, I'm, that's why I don't check, ever check the scale on a daily basis because yeah. it fluctuates all over exactly. the place. Exactly. I check it once or twice a decade just to make sure that I'm in the same. <laughs> I'm in the ballpark. Yeah, ballpark. And then when I go to the doctor, I start fearing like, <laughs> ah, shit. I, I take off all your my blood clothes. Pressure goes yeah. up. Oh, my blood pressure is always high because I always come in in the morning, <laughs> cup of coffee, yeah. and then I'm always nervous at the doctor for I know. some reason. Well, I feel like it's it like That's I'm the it. FBI or something. You know? <laughs> well, know. are you smoking cigarettes? <laughs> By cigarette, do you mean those things that come in a little package with the camel on them? Not usually. Today, yet. <laughs> I want to be lean, mean. I want to be vascular. So my body, uh, you, you got to know your body. You got to know what's going to work for your body. And I, I know what I can and what I can't do. I know how many carbs I can and how many carbs I can't eat. So anyhow. I know I can fuck you on the walker, but I probably can't hold you up against the shower wall. I'm just not that guy anymore. I'm in my 70s, 60s. That's what I meant to say, 60s. He's very vascular, too. Oh, Does that is. mean like veins are popping out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All over. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are in his neck right now. It's popping you out can of his, see that. Yeah, you can see it out of his half hard. Oh, yes, we all cheat. But what I'm trying to tell you is just limit it. Instead of a cheat day, make it a cheat meal. Now I'm ready to get into the wealth part of my daily oh. routine. Yes, the wealth. We took care yeah. of the health. Now it's the wealth. And these are two things that I do every day. So if you're ready, let's go see the wealth part of my daily routine. Now, <laughs> he's going to go to his salon go. suite. Oh, wait. House, of, house salons, of Salons. Just so we can Google this. Luxury Beauty Be Suites. Leasing. Suites. <laughs> There's a phone number right there, Chrissy. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait, let me take a picture. I want you to notice there are, okay, professional services. So what we're looking at is the front of one of 
Frankie's House of Salon Salon <laughs> Suisse. Frankie B's House of Salon Salon Suisse. What I also want you to notice, Chrissy, is that there's names on the door. I'm assuming those are the names of the stylists that work inside of... Yeah, Lauren, okay. Christine, Salon. Yes. Yeah, so, so that's who he's renting out to, right? Are these people who have these salons. So what I'm saying Ambience is... Ambience West is somebody's... <laughs> And also oh, yeah. Lauren Christine. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's the Lauren Christine salon. So that's her own little suite, maybe. Yeah, that's her own little suite. And then Ambience West. I don't know. I don't know. That's a stupid name for a business. Uh, um, but what I want you to notice is that uh, there, then there's a bunch of names, and then four feet below them, there's another name, <laughs> which means that a bunch of names have been scraped <laughs> <Exactly>. off. <laughs> business ain't so great. <laughs> he does a restoration, hair restoration. Oh, he does. He's probably done it to himself. Mm-hmm. You got to imagine. Oh, here oh, he is. the same building we've yeah, seen the same 20 building. times. He couldn't get into it before, but yeah, now it was he... locked. Now he... <laughs> was These it are... like on a football Sunday? Yeah. He did that. <laughs> yeah, it was like Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, who's six that? rooms. Who's that man with... Can you imagine if there's yeah. a client? Who's that man walking around filming uh, us? Who's the creep with jizz uh, on yeah. his face walking around <laughs> with a box of Krispy oh, Kreme worry, donuts? That's the guy yeah. that owns the building. That's the guy that thinks he owns the building. <laughs> we tried to get rid of him, but uh, unfortunately, he's not a harm to anybody else here, so we just let him walk in every once in a while and film a video. <laughs> and try to walk <laughs> into our place. <laughs> so the, I saw salon, six individual suites there mm-hmm. with three names on the door, so he's got three empty. <laughs> but, you know, I guess you can make a living doing that. Uh, he says you can. Yeah. According to him, three hundred fifty thousand dollars. You're going to be a millionaire for the rest of your life. Yes. So that's it. He just walks in. And yeah. He just walks in and looks at people. Yep. Oh, there's another salon suite. He's walking into. This looks exactly the same as the other. one. I was going to say, isn't that the same one? Yeah. So what he's doing is he's walking into these buildings. He's just there's glass <laughs> doors. He's literally peeking into the glass doors with his video camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So what do you do, Frankie? Yeah, he's. I guess he's going to tell us, but this is funny. How is this the wealth part? Did you actually have to make money <laughs> to gain wealth? Now he's at Starbucks. <laughs> oh, now he's at his closet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe that this is what he does. So what we're watching is he uh, he's just walking in and out of buildings. That's it. Go to <laughs> YouTube.com slash the commercial break. I thought he was going to talk us through his actual yeah, business no, model here. Yeah, he's just here. videoing things. No, that's it. That's all he did. Yeah, but- I just completed the wealth part of my day. <laughs> there you I'm it. rich. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in for a second with my camera? I'm building wealth. Uh, sir, do you do you work here? No. Because this is a home. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, just let me take a quick walk around. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just getting rich. <laughs> there, there you have it. Every time I walk into a, a random building, I earn another $200. There you have it. That's right. He's delivering newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. He walked in and out of buildings and he said, that I just completed and the wealth is. part of my day. God damn, we work too hard for our money, Chrissy. What are we doing? <laughs> Now, not every day is that easy. So what I did is I just took you on a tour to three of my uh, five buildings that are in the greater Chicagoland area. And basically, that's all I have to do. Walk in the buildings, make sure everything's clean, make sure everything's running smoothly, and my day is done with the wealth part. Now... Did that- you got dressed up in a $5,000 <laughs> suit with $4,000 sunglasses? To walk in, say nothing to nobody, and <laughs> yeah, walk out, yeah. make sure things are clean, clean and running well? Wouldn't you think about maybe popping in and asking somebody <laughs> a question? Like, hey, how's everything? Need anything? <laughs> Can I help you? So essentially, you're a landlord mm-hmm. for stylists. Yes. Okay, got it. 10 4. By the way, not a new concept. You didn't invent it. Come <laughs> without blood, sweat, and tears? Absolutely not. Okay, that took a lot to develop this. So let me explain this. 21 years ago, I developed the very concept of salon suites. He did not. He did not. No, you did not, Frankie. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Franchise, here to make a small correction once again. 
Frankie, we've been doing this for 100 years. <laughs> you invented the concept of a salon suite that loses money. We invented the concept of one that makes money. But don't go with Mr. Franchise. He's the big bad guy. <laughs> Oh, we've got to at some point pull that episode back out where he did. He said he was like, go, this is, I'll set you up in a great location. And it was in the middle of nowhere. That's right. <laughs> Who needs foot traffic for your brand new salon suites? Why have customers? Too much work for everybody. <laughs> Just write a $350,000 check and soon you two will be bankrupt. Don't go with. It's a proven formula. It's a proven formula to be a. Middling YouTube star. <laughs> I created podcasts. <laughs> See this microphone? I invented putting it in front of my face. You're an idiot, Frankie. You're an asshole. And by greater Chicagoland area, you mean way outside of the Chicago area. <laughs> You won't catch a supercuts in someone's house, but the salon suite is right downstairs. <laughs> uh, oh. That's where I get a building and I build out fully furnished individual salon suites. And these rooms are roughly 10 by 12 each. They're fully furnished. There are jail cells that are bigger than 10 by 12 God. feet. Think about what you'll do with all that room. <laughs> You can have two pairs of scissors, maybe three. <laughs> you can hang your hair trimmers from the ceiling. Put a small sink for a turtle. Oh my God. And it's only $5,000 a month because no one else rents here and you need to charge out the nose. <laughs> where all the beauty professional has to do is bring their own tools and they're open and ready for business. Now, 21 years later, this is one of the biggest franchising booms in America. Everybody. <laughs> I'd just like to stop for a moment and recognize the bullshit rolling out of your mouth. <laughs> That's right. Right above Chick-fil-A is <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest bomb. Oh my god. <laughs> right next to Subway's 1,726,000 locations is Frankie B's five Greater Land Chicago area franchises. <laughs> You're the 51st <laughs> most popular franchise idea on the street you're walking on. <laughs> oh, my but God. But don't go with Mr. Franchise. <laughs> Big bad Mr. Franchise wants to hurt you. <laughs> right above Chick-fil-A. <laughs> right below Chick-fil-A. That's an unbelievable claim to make, Frankie. <laughs> it really is. He's jumping on the bandwagon. Um, we're going to talk about franchising uh, in a second here, but let's let's talk. We can't wait. <laughs> we can't wait to hear what you have to say. Give us an update on the franchise model, Frankie. <laughs> Well, the wealth part, okay? I showed you what my day consists of um, as far as the wealth part. And it's walking through the buildings and making sure everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I showed that. you what my day is. I showed you exactly what I need to do. My daily routine walking. is walking in and out of a building? <laughs> really? <laughs> what do you own? One Plaza West in New York? Yeah, you've got six glass doors. Three of which were empty. <laughs> Did you notice that no yes. one he walked by even waved? waved yeah. No. They were uh, like, there's that, that fucking asshole. <laughs> Got me in this three year contract I can't get out of. Yes. I was trapped in this tiny mm, 10 by that's 12. Right. Room. 10 by 12 room, no foot traffic. <laughs> Leopard print wallpaper. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> But let's define wealth. Is it all about the money? No, it's not. 
Of course not. <laughs> Why would you want to make money with your franchise? <laughs> well, if that's how we're determining success, <laughs> you're the winner. <laughs> my ability to walk in and out of a building at at my leisure. <laughs> at your leisure, sir. Welcome to Frankie B's <laughs> House of Salon, Salon Suisse. <laughs> sure. God, money. Can I take your bags? Because there's no room for them inside the building. <laughs> inside the rooms. <laughs> we don't have any additional room <laughs> for you or your bags, sir. <laughs> but you're welcome to walk in and out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> is obviously the biggest part. But I think wealth wealth could be defined in so many different ways. Wealth wealth is having a business that runs itself. Isn't that the ultimate business? No, Where, may it's I, not the ultimate may business. May I point out that I <laughs> <laughs> that wealth would somewhat lend to more than a one bedroom apartment. I would see you, and you would know, think so. Yeah, I you mean, would yeah. not to shame. <laughs> no. But I, he's claiming to be very wealthy. Yeah, yes. He puts on those appearances anyway. But listen, he's not the first person in the history no, of the world to true. do that. There's lots of people who live in one-bedroom apartments. I know when I was younger, I knew people who had, you know, $100,000 cars. Right. And they didn't have couches inside of their apartment, couldn't afford Which to eat. Which is shocking for the girl when you come home back yeah, to place. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hey, baby, I got this Corvette. I, I always put on my <laughs> opposite appearances. <laughs> exactly. Because I couldn't even afford the $100,000 car. So I'd be like, yes, rooms to go. I don't have a payment due for five years. <laughs> but I bought it 10 years ago, so I'm not sure if the bills are coming or not. <laughs> I've changed addresses a couple times. <laughs> I don't need to check my credit. I know how excellent it is. It goes up to 400, right? Because I'm right there. I'm at 425. I'm 25 above the best. Oh, a thousand? Well, I got some work to do. Would you like to take a ride in my Honda Accord 1992? No left side of the No left side of the car. No? Let me open the door for you. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, already open. Click, click. It just falls off. It's a convertible. A door convertible. It doesn't open from the top. It opens from the side. Yeah, it's like a Ferrari. You can take the doors. It's a Jeep, basically, is what it is. They're very rare. That's There's right. Honda Accord Jeeps. The Honda Accord doorless. <laughs> It's a rag, rag, <laughs> rag, not rag, rag top. Do, rag doors. Rag, rag side. Rag doors. <laughs> rag doors. I've seen people driving down the street with plastic over their doors. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's either stolen <laughs> or they <laughs> they don't have great credit. One of the two. It can run when. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm in Florida. It can run when I'm on my boat. It, it can run. I, I don't care where I'm at. The business is running. It's running while I'm putting skincare on my face. It's <laughs> running, you know, while I'm eating breakfast. That's the ultimate business that runs when you're not there. Okay? How do you achieve that? Are you looking to open up a business? Well, if you are, I can get you there. Where you are free to do what you want <laughs> every day of your life. Oh my God, you make House of Salon Salon um, Suites sound like the dream solution for anyone that's ever looking to get mm -hmm. rich. Not but the, the people that actually work there. No, but <laughs> no, for the people that actually work dream. there that are paying you money, they're not, miserable. They're not their dream. Yeah, it's not their but dream. Who cares about them? No, we're gonna just you just I, buy the building. By the way, I want to say this. Frankie B could have a condo. He could have a condo in a really expensive part of Chicago. And so I don't want to house shame Frankie. No, I, I have lived in many worse places than this <laughs> yes, one he's showing. No, I know. Yeah. And so I am humbled by the fact that I even live <laughs> I didn't have enough room to have a studio in my house. It's amazing, quite frankly, to me that I've but we're not to claiming this. to train yes. other people on how to be wealthy. No. And That's the thing. He's, it's kind of a, you know, it's a little bit of bait and switch here. He's saying, I'm got, that's the wealth part of my day. But then he's claiming that wealth has nothing to do with money. It has to do with his ability to walk in and out of a building. And by the way, yes, you're right. 
the freedom to do what you want to do is wealth, but it's not it's actually not wealth because wealth has to do with money. It's just freedom to do what you want. <laughs> so how do you get there? Well, it's very easy. I'm going to put my website in the link below. I'm also going to put my email in House the link below. What he says it's very easy. It's very easy, Chrissy. You just have to have $350,000 yeah, laying it. around. Yeah, that's it. If you and your buddies are watching the football game <laughs> and you have an idea and how you want to get wealthy without actually making money. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you, two, you two can walk in and out of buildings. Yes. You two can be wealthy with <laughs> overdraft fees. <laughs> but you'll be able to walk into almost any building you own free and clear. <laughs> doing now is I'm offering uh, consulting services to give you the exact lifestyle that I've got. I am the alternative to all the... F you two can live in your sister's friend's dorm room <laughs> in the greater Chicagoland area. <laughs> I've jumped on the bandwagon, copied my model, and are charging people hundreds of thousands of extra dollars to do the same service that I could do at a fraction of the cost. Does that excite you? I got more. Oh man, I got a half heart right now. <laughs> Why Brian 3000? Just for what a franchise charges you to put their name on the door. Not your name, their name. Because it's not your business. His name it's is not on the door? Yeah, his, his name, name is, is not on <laughs> I know, but what he's saying is, is that, so you can either put his name on the door, House of Salon, Salon, <laughs> Sweeze, or you can put their name, Supercuts. You can either make money, Supercuts, or you can lose it, House of Salon, Salon, Sweeze. You can have to go into work and actually lift a finger and make money, or you can not go into work or just glide in and out and lose money. The choice is yours. Their business. It's their name. What is their? Their. What is a their? Mm -hmm. When did you get a southern accent all of a sudden? <laughs> their. For just what they charge you to put their name on the door, my fees will be covered to put up the whole building. Interesting? So if you are inquiring... How could you possibly uh, know uh, uh, <laughs> that it's going to cost a set amount of money to put up a building in any one location? I, know. I mean, it's... It's kind of a weird pitch. Yeah, because you've been in real estate. Oh, so, anybody yeah, with a lick of knowledge yeah. would know that, first of all, you're not building a commercial building for $350,000. <laughs> I don't care where you live. And if you are, it's you're buying prefab sheet metal. It's not going to be the best <laughs> house, salon, salon suites the world has ever seen. <sighs> Second of all, uh, you can't just pin a number and say that's how much it's going to cost. You have to get really deep into an into yeah. a lot of different stuff before you could even under, start to understand what the actual cost might be, and even then add twenty percent. But also, too, he's saying for them to put you, you know, you're paying this big price for them to have their name on the door. Well, it's yeah. not that you don't already have to have the building. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you can't just right. put up subway sign on on the mobile trailer. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I already well, have the building. I'm going to pay for just the name, though. Yeah. That's all I need. <laughs> By the way. Subway, yes, you can probably put it up on a trailer, but I, with supercuts, yeah. the whole the whole premise is you find a strip mall that's already crowded. You pay a little bit more for the lease for the foot traffic, and you yes. put supercuts on the front door because any fucking moron can walk into a supercuts and get a haircut. Yes. Then probably understand for twenty eight dollars you'll get a pretty decent haircut, yeah. right? With a franchise on Salon Suites, I urge you. To talk to me, I can save you hundreds of thousand dollars. We can make that After building. After you pay me three hundred and fifty. That's right. That's a crazy. This is, I'm not making this up. This is a number he actually said, right? Three hundred and fifty thousand. Yes, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your brand, your name, what you're about. Not to be under someone's thumb. You'll be free from control. I mean, obviously, when you go in business, standards, you need to, standards, yeah. standards, standards get and out. practices. <laughs> <Yeah>. out <of laughs> <laughs> Cleaning standards, throw them out the door. And Frankie B's Salon Suites, House of Salon Suites, or whatever the fuck you call it, you can literally take a hot dump on the floor. That's wealth. <laughs> when you don't have to worry about where you defecate, that's true wealth. 
You think Donald Trump stops for a toilet? No, he takes a shit on his gold floor. He's got true wealth. <laughs> <laughs> George Soros will literally shit on the sidewalk. No one cares. He's got wealth. <laughs> Standards and practices? Why bother? No rules. It's running itself. What do I need to get involved in? I'm making two eggs and literally collecting checks. It's the hottest franchise model since McDonald's. <laughs> no standards and practices. No set dollar amount. Paying a guy named Frankie B hundreds of thousands of dollars. But don't worry, you won't get your name on the door. You'll have no marketing, no foot traffic, no money. And probably no home. <laughs> Isn't that the wealth you've always been dreaming of? <laughs> but you'll save money on toilet paper because who cares where you take a dump? <laughs> oh my god, this is my favorite Ricky B video ever. Look at your name on the door. Free from control. Otherwise, what's it like? It's like working for someone. I, I don't want anybody telling me what to do. And if you're in business... What's it like? It's like collecting a paycheck, Frankie. <laughs> That's why people work for someone else. <laughs> they actually make money. <laughs> I w would hope and think that you don't want anybody telling you what to do. So if you want the ultimate lifestyle, the ultimate business, I got it for you. You know, I'm a phone call or I'm an email away. At least inquire. Talk to me. And what could quite be the best move? Quite be. Hey, Betty, it's Janet again. <laughs> Do you think you could call the non-emergency uh, sh Greater Chicagoland Area Police? I got that weird guy outside making videos again. <laughs> it could quite be. Your, it yeah, could quite. It could quite be, be the, yes. the best. I don't even know how that yeah. <laughs> could quite be the best decision you've ever made. Life. It's about ready to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor: hit the subscribe button and give the video a like because it'll definitely help this channel grow and it'll help me get the word out. All right, so let's put everything into perspective. You gotta at least be on the top floor of the model apartment. House. Yeah, I mean seriously, <laughs> let's. Mid -level. Yeah, he's mid level, <laughs> so you have no. He's below you and above you. <laughs> My favorite apartments are where you have someone below you and above you and yep. to both sides. Yep. Yeah. You see my day, okay? My day is is mostly devoted to the health part. And I believe that that's that's the key. That's the key to life, okay? If you could devote You don't say, Frankie. The yeah. key to life <laughs> is taking care of your body. Yeah. <laughs> Most of your day to the health and not the wealth. That's the secret to success. I do because have to say this. I do have to give credit where credit is due. Frankie's a handsome it, dude who dresses well. He does. Yeah. And he's healthy. It seems yeah. like. I mean, I, yeah. do, I, I agree with all, his moisturizing your entire body. <laughs> all the Bart. parts. All the parts. <laughs> yep. And, you know, he, he's got some, some basic knowledge. But what he, what yeah, he loses what he, me on the wealth part and the dating part. Yeah. Whatever he talks about dating, dating and, and money, wealth. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> and that's where we really have fun. But... <laughs> For all of our tomfoolery with Frankie, I do have such an affection toward I do, him. I know. He's like a friend. Like he's a, he we've watched so much Frankie B that he's like a friend. Like that goofy friend you just can't help to go, <laughs> I love you, but you're an ass. Man, are you an asshole. <laughs> we've yes. had a couple friends like that. Oh, yeah. We had one, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Smelled bad. Really bad. There's nothing more important in your life than your health. If you're devoting most of your day into the wealth part, where you're there, just hours, relentless hours, and when you come home, it's more hours of, of working and keeping that business running. That's no way to run a business. If you want the ultimate business, the ultimate 
business experience, I got it for you. I'm gonna the pu- ultimate business well, experience. What, I'm getting, what I was about to, thinking as he's talking about this, he's not actually telling people how to run a business. He's no. just saying, just put up a building. Yeah, he's just comes. Telling, that's right. Well, he's comes. saying that he will consult with you through the entire process. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars building the building, decorating it. Do you know how incredibly <laughs> risky this all is? It's incredibly risky. <laughs> Put my website in the link below. I'm going to put my email in the link below. Go down there, check out this tremendous business opportunity. That's going to allow you to do what you want, when you want, how you want. It's going to allow you to take up most of your day to, to do activities. What, 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 what are activities do? It's it's healthy. All right, you're you're out. You're about. You're moving. You know you're you're out. <laughs> you're about. You're moving. That's what health really you're moving, is. You're grooving. <laughs> you're moving. You're grooving. You're having sex with girls twenty years younger than you. <laughs> you're getting dumped every uh, three to four weeks. But who's counting? Activities. What what, what, what are activities do? It's Oops, it's sorry. healthy, all right? You're, you're out, you're about, you're moving. You know, you're in the gym, you're, you're on the boat, you're on the golf course. You know, it's, it's not having the pressure, you know, of your business just, just making your brain explode every day. When you got buildings that run themselves from tenants, okay, that's the ultimate business because you're making money. I am your new Frankie B building. <laughs> How can I run myself for you? <laughs> uh, yes, someone took a hot dump on the floor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Frankie. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll stop smelling in a couple days. Thank you for using Building Omatic 3000, a Frankie B invention. <laughs> While you're putting face cream on. You're, yeah, by the way, a building kind of runs itself anyway. I mean, if it's just a building, you can yeah, yeah, just, exactly. as long as you pay the power bill, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> making money while you're making dinner. You're making money while you're in the shower. That's the way to run a business. I can get you there. My name is Frank Renardo. I thank all of you for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Oh, we can't oh, wait. Send out that next video, Frankie. Frankie. Where is that video? We're waiting for it. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, I know. He's got a girlfriend. We'll hear all about it when he gets dumped. Yeah. Yeah, when he breaks up with her. We'll hear all about it. I bet it. he fell for another party girl. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so, because it's only for our benefit. Ah, uh, Frankie. You know, I just... <laughs> I think the commercial break would be such a different thing if it wasn't for I Frankie agree. B. Yeah. I think Frankie... He helped shape the show. He has helped shape the show. Mm-hmm. And we do love you, Frankie, for all of your We have true wealth, Brian, now. What's that? We have true wealth. We have true wealth. <laughs> we can also walk in and out of the studio <laughs> and do nothing. And you, we'd probably yeah. still have the same amount of listeners. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, you know, some people write in and they ask, how can we help the show? Like, I tell oh. my friends, you know, I tell my family, but... Uh, how can we help the show? Well, first of all, you can publicly admit that you listen to the commercial break. <laughs> and second of all, you can leave us a review on your favorite podcast player. Please do it. A lot of people used to leave, you know, I hate this show, five stars. Right. And that was funny for a while. So keep that going. Just yeah. right. You just even click five stars. It helps us grow the show because then the algorithm picks it up and then we get to get in front of new listeners who probably won't like the show either. Right. But there you go. I <laughs> wonder can do that. why they're being shown. Yeah, in I wonder. Our show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do write those kind of reviews. I know. Like, <laughs> I have no idea how this show is number one on anything. <laughs> uh, but you can also go to the website. We have something for you. We got a 21 EPM sticker, 21 ejaculations per month. We are supporting prostate health. <laughs> We're not supporting prostate health. It's just something stupid yes, we, we say. Okay, yes, we are. Twenty-one That's a EPM. Side. That's a side, a side benefit. Gig. It's a side gig we a have. Yeah. We have a side job as prostate examiners. <laughs> 21 EPM stickers are available. Go to tcbpodcast.com, hit the contact us button, send us your address. If you are outside of the continental United States, which we're getting some requests, we may have to adjust postage so Astrid will communicate with you if you're outside of the United States, but we'll try and find a way to get it to you. 855-TCB-8383-1. 855-TCB-8383. From anywhere in the world, toll free. You can text us comments, questions, concerns, or content ideas. At The Commercial Break on Instagram, youtube.com slash The Commercial Break. I guess that's all I can do for today, Chrissy. I think so. So I love you. I love you. Best to you. Best to you. 
And best to you out there in the podcast universe. Until next time, Chrissy and I always say, we do say, and hell, we must say, <laughs> Good- goodbye. Bye.